Welcome back to the Rev War Room. So today we're gonna to talk a little bit about what the Revolutionary War sites do for Cherokee County. Uh, in 2011 and 12, I spent a lot of time asking every visitor here at the Gaffney Visitor Center, why are you here? And I would have thought other answers would be the leading answer, but genealogy research and visiting the battlefields or places that their ancestors were involved in the American Revolution was the number one reason for tourists in Cherokee County. So I've even had the, the privilege to speak at a couple of conferences about rural destinations, uh, rural communities, excuse me, rural communities that are tourist destinations. And here's a big reason why, revolutionary war sites so we have just redesigned our one of our most popular brochures and this is a great staycation i know some people are talking about staycations on facebook this uh, summer but we have maps and destinations and places for you to go and visit at the vis at the visitor center here so come get those uh, pieces of information and know your community so this is revolutionary war sites in cherokee county and there are 26 identified destinations. And since this went to print, gosh, last month, month before last, we've identified a couple of more. So part of what we're doing in the Rev War Room is searching for all those sites. Where did things happen? I just this morning read about a skirmish between the British and the, um, the Whigs, the Patriots, at Cherokee Ford. Here's where it gets confusion confusing. Do you know how many Cherokee Fords there are? Oh my goodness. So was it the Cherokee Ford at the Broad River? Was it the Cherokee Ford at another river? Fun, fun, fun research. So we will be meeting um, today with the South Carolina Historical Society, who will be bringing over 250 people to tour Cherokee County in October. So we will spend a weekend getting them into our community, into our historic sites. It will include a tour of historic homes. We'll try to link or comment in where you can actually go to buy tickets um, when we get finished with this meeting. So let's talk about Charleston a little bit. So the uh, South Carolina Historical Society um, main base, their home base is in Charleston, which is a great historical city, right? Do you know that some of the people that owned property in present day Cherokee County lived in Charleston, they never lived here, but some of them were instrumental in the Limestone Springs and the hotel that is now Limestone University. So let's see who some of those people may have been. In Carolina's fields where brothers clashed, neighbor against neighbor, freedom flashed. From King George's grip, they dared to break in the back country's heart for liberty's sake. Captains in Kings Mountain, they did stand, brave patriots united across the land. In Carolina's struggle, the spirit unfurled. With each battle cry, they reshaped the world. Hopkins, Hopkins, Gordons. I can't find anything on the Gordons. And this could be spelled like present day Gordon, the way we spell it, or it could be G-O-R-D-I-N-E-S. We also have Campbell's. And I've called Ferguson before, Thomas Ferguson. Can't find any stories of whether he was a loyalist or a patriot, one of the first to get land grants here. Uh, Thomas Nichols. So are any of these names connected to you or to someone you know? Please tag them in the comments below or give us a shout back. Maybe, maybe they were some of your relatives and we can't end this video without running up to Limestone Springs to say that Vardry McBee, Vardry McBee we've talked about time and time again, Hannah's Calpins were at the Limestone Springs, three unknown, unknown British soldiers are buried there. Vardry McBee lost everything after the, after the American Revolution. So who ended up owning his property? Who started Limestone College? One of the first female colleges in the Southeast that is now Limestone University, one of our biggest assets here in Gaffney. 
If you don't know your story, but you would like to, be sure to go to the Cherokee County Museum and see Miss London, the genealogy room, or go to the Cherokee County Library and see Miss Jackie in the genealogy room there. They are absolutely amazing. Don't forget, tag a friend. If this is a familiar name, any of these names, we'll be spending the next few days adding names to some of the comments, um, the comment sections and descriptions of the videos so to make, you, make it easier for everyone to find their family. If you just wanna know, did I have people in the American Revolution? And you don't have to live in present day Cherokee County for that to be a, a possibility. There were people from Georgia, Tennessee, North Carolina, Virginia, Maryland, all over the place, all over the 13 colonies fighting here in Cherokee County. Reach out to us, we'll see if we can help you.